Hey everybody, Chris the Up North Air Gunner. So today we're really excited. We are going to be talking to you about a brand new product from Air Marksman through Utah Air Guns in partnership with Corbin Manufacturing. And I'm doing a lot of slug testing over the last seven days, guys. There are very few times when a product hits the market that it truly changes our sport. Today is that day. So Utah Air Guns through Air Marksman in partnership with Corbin they have come out with what I'm just going to call it. It's it's the miracle slug. Um, we've been talking for years about at what point are we going to exceed the performance of 22 rimfire, and guys, we are in that moment right now. The reason being is that this slug that they have developed is now exceeding the ballistic coefficient of any 22 rimfire match grade ammo that I have personally seen. I have seen testing online. I have now seen tests through my own tests and uh, the test results from others that are testing this slug. It is the real deal. So if you were watching at RMAC and actually perform RMAC, um, the results speak for themselves. Uh, I believe the majority of the shooters during the PRS match were using this slug. And actually, we had shooters from the uh, Air Marksman Utah Air Guns team were winning, uh, beating Rimfire guys with this slug. And I want to talk to you a little bit about why I'm so excited that the fact that Air Marksman Utah Air Guns has, has partnered with Corbin to do this. Um, last RMAC, last year, uh, I was getting ready for the big board competition. I had the slugs all ready to go that I had uh, showed up with. And then I met a gentleman. So I'm out here on the uh, test firing range. I met this gentleman who um, has his own Corbin press. And he was showing me these slugs. And he gave me these uh, 358 size slugs. I had to walk out here and show you guys this group. So let's check this out. So Kelly from Corbin, um, he was showing me to be able to actually hand swage slugs right there and be able to change the just the smallest amount of grain weights of slugs with the S-Press. And I immediately changed my ammunition last year on the spot, literally two hours before the big bore competition and shot the best ever. This year, same thing. I, I showed up uh, three days early with uh, Jeremy from Team Saber Tactical, and we did a lot of testing with the S-Press with the 357 caliber. Today, we're out here making some Corbin slugs on the uh, Corbin S-Press, and let's see what we're gonna get here. We are making 135 grain, 357s. Yeah, baby. Ooh. Look at that. Yeah, it's shiny. Yep, so. All right, send it. Impact! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Dude, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, those Corbin dies are just second to none. And the, just you're able to basically get a slug that has almost zero imperfections in it. And recently, we were able to get a sneak peek on a brand new press that's being specifically made for air gunners that's coming out really soon. It's actually going to drop that price point even a little bit lower so us air gunners can have even more access to the Corbin dies. A couple updates on some things we're working on. What do you see? Yeah, that's cool. Um, Uh-oh. Yes, air gunners. Going for you. You'll be amazed. Now, the vast majority of us, though, as air gunners... We may not have access to the press. We may not have time to press our own slugs. So being able to find a, a partner, a company in our sport that can actually partner with Corbett and bring those mass-produced slugs to us as end users, that's what Air Marksman and Utah Air Guns has done. So let's back the story up just a little bit again to back to last year. So right after our Mac of last year, I reached back out to Kelly and I wanted to continue the testing with the S-Press. And they had started to develop a very, very early version of a Nearlar slug. So it had a kind of a more of a rounded nose and a boat tail. And we went through multiple iterations. I got a chance to test three different versions of that. But I'll tell you what, the, the missing element of what needed to happen is where Utah Air Guns basically got with Corbin. And that collaboration of actually having access to the actual barrels and the systems that these slugs were being developed for, that was the missing link. Utah Air Guns works in direct collaboration with Corbin, providing actually the barrels of the air guns that we use to shoot with and being able to match the production of these slugs directly with these barrels and working hand in hand in the, 
the product testers, with the manufacturing process. In the end, what you get, honestly, is a miracle slug. And so that is what we're going to be talking about today. So there's actually two slugs I'm going to be talking about today, and that is the uh, Air Marksman 33 grain. It's a hunting slug. And then also their PRS slug, which is a 40.1 grain slug. Both are phenomenal. Obviously, uh, working with the FX uh, heavy slug liners, uh, did the testing in this. If you have a 600, 700, or 800 millimeter uh, 1 in 16 twist FX liner, these slugs are going to absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. As a matter of fact, some of the best groups that I shot this week was with this. This is a custom uh, FX Dynamic Panthera with the custom 800 millimeter barrel like you've seen me show up back home. This is Izzy's gun. Uh, Izzy has developed that um, the exact same uh, barrel profile that I use back home. And we're literally shooting sub MOA at 50 yards. Absolutely amazing. Holy crap, guys. I'll tell you what, the FX heavy liners absolutely love these slugs. But man, right out of the uh, FX, this is the one in 16 twist. Now this is the 800 millimeter. So if you have an FX impact, it can use the 800 millimeter kit. Or if you want to get fancy like Izzy and I have to make that custom one for the FX Dynamic or King or Panthera. Uh, guys, that liner absolutely loves that. But what's great about these slugs, though, is that they did not only make them for FX. There are other air guns that these slugs are will perform well in these barrels. And you really, you got to try it, guys. You just, when you're getting into slug shooting, don't get so tied into just a one brand or one manufacturer or one size. You really need to buy a, a spattering of slugs to test in your guns. So in our testing this week, we found that the 33 grain, in the uh, Karma Red Panda, absolutely love those slugs. And what was awesome about the Karma Red Panda is in the 22 cal, you just have a huge plenum space in this, and so that way you don't have to run the reg so high. And man, I was testing with PJ in the warehouse, and we came out here to the Donny FL testing range, did some 50-yard testing, and guys, we were just holding one whole groups with those 33 grains with the Karma Red Panda. There we go. All right, PJ, where are we at? So we got uh, about a four foot per second spread. Over a thousand oh, feet per second. Let's... Dude. Wow. <laughs> Red Panda. That's crazy. All right, let's push it out further. So it wasn't just us uh, testing here at the Donnie FL headquarters. Uh, it wasn't just me and PJ. There's a lot of other people that were doing the initial testing on these slugs. My good friend Abner down in Puerto Rico, who's running the uh, Karma Red Panda through some PRS stages, he is having phenomenal success with these Corbin slugs. And what's crazy about this is not just the precision that we're getting in our group testing and the precision that Abner is getting in the uh, KYL, Know Your Limits, uh, PRS stage shooting testing is the fact that the, the ballistic coefficient of these slugs is just so incredibly high. I will tell you, these slugs are firmly above 0 .2, 0 0.21 BC G1. And guys, when I say firmly above, some of the numbers that I was seeing on the ballistics radar and consistently were mind-blowing. What that means is if you open up your Element Optics app and you actually look at the difference between a slug, let's say, on the conservative side, 0.21 G1 BC, and we'll just say like at 975 feet per second, and you're taking a shot, let's say, at 200 yards versus another slug that maybe is only able to achieve 0.15 G1 BC, we're talking about inches of drift difference that could mean whether you're going to hit ring steel or completely miss the target just because you made a slightly bad wind call you're going to have a flatter trajectory and from a hunting perspective now the the elr versions of these are round nose but the hunting slugs at those 33 grains those are actually getting a pretty high bc for being only a 33 grain slug the other thing is that's carrying a lot more energy downrange 
for hunting set of considerations. So when you really want to test some new hunting slugs, the guy you want to call is the Ginger Ninja himself, the Red Panda, Thane Simmons. Because when he went out there and tested these new slugs across multiple different sizes in the 22 cal, he was dropping prairie dogs left and right. And he's at 143. Oh, he's out there. Um. Right through the head. So remember those three five slugs you were talking about earlier? These are basically an upsized version of those extreme long range 22 cal. The only difference is, is that Corbin designed a very specific pin to go into that hollow point to have immediate expansion when these things make impact on meat. Yeah, baby. So we were able to take these out and do some quick testing in a hunting environment. And I'll tell you what, Air Marksman is going to be testing a lot of different calibers but the early testing with these 357, let me tell you what, they competed well, extremely well in the big boar competition at Armac. So out in the field, we were dropping prairie dogs 150 yards and beyond, but look at the terminal performance of these in precision, precision at 150 yards with a 357 big bore air gun FX dynamic. So Air Marksman will be coming out with other calibers eventually. We were able to do some early testing with these. But right now, if you have an FX heavy uh, slug liner, 1 in 16 twist, or uh, a Karma Red Panda 22, it, it absolutely loves those in the 33 grain. The 40.1 grains, if you've got the FX heavy twist uh, barrel, uh, 1 in 16, probably one of the, not probably, the best slug I have ever shot. I will be testing those uh, a lot more in the future, but huge shout out to Justin and Kelly and the Utah Air Guns team over there. I mean... What was crazy is we, we were trying to reach 22 rimfire precision and performance. Just a few years ago, guys, I was talking about that with the launch of the FX Impact M3 that we were almost there. We are there now. We have now exceeded the performance of rimfire. Our air guns are able to get a higher standard deviation and an extreme spread of velocity. Our ammunition has higher ballistic coefficients. We can keep it around that, you know, 950 to 1,000 in 50 feet per second to keep it out of the transonic zone. All of that to say is that you're going to start seeing some NRL 22 competitions where you're going to see a lot more competitive shooters when they switch over to air because they want the superior equipment and the superior performance. It's going to be an awesome, awesome time to be an air gunner in the next few years. So to all your rimfire guys out there, tonight, man, I love my rimfires. Do not get me wrong, but to be able to shoot that kind of BC in a in a round nose boat tail, anywhere from you know 40 grains, and I'm just, we've got some 42 grains that we're testing here. You just can't touch it. So there it is, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Stay tuned for some more testing. But uh, if you like this content, you want to see some more testing, please like and subscribe. Thanks for joining me. Take care.